Going on to Car Guy, and I'm just leaving my main bigger lot there for making a bunch of trash, getting it out of there. And it is pretty cleaned up now. No, it's not. There's a lot more to do. And I'm getting evicted from one of my lots. Evicted? That's right. I pay the rent. Just like I'm supposed to. However, the guy that owns the place is changing with somebody else. It's a long story. Essentially, what's happening is somebody else is taking over the entire place where I am, and my stuff all has to be moved. So, about 55 cars, and really, I don't want but 15 of them. Actually, I don't want but one of them, maybe. Let none of them. Get them all gone. You know. So, this is just a ranting video. Um, I put out a birthday video this morning because it's my birthday. And I asked, hey, could you share this? Do this. Put this on your Facebook wall for a birthday for me. Kind of cool. Kind of stupid. Whatever. That's what I did. Now, this car is loud to drive in, and I'm wondering how this will pick up on sound and stuff. So it's a neat test of such. Over the next few weeks, as I close out the year, there will be many, many, many videos uploaded. I'm going to start doing a couple a day that I just upload and just start slamming them out. Uh, I'm going to do a video every day like I've been doing. But you're going to start seeing a lot of these extra curricular videos come up. Um, just of the process of what's going on here. And the car stuff on the channel, yes, the, I do a lot of cars. Um, the channel's just not all about cars. I'm sorry, I don't have a three new car reviews every day. I would love that. I would love to just do car reviews. Um, get to test drive them and stuff. It's not what I'm able to do. This point. So, what my channel is more about is about business life and what it takes and how it, I'm just going to go, and how it all just kind of is a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, whether it's good stuff, bad stuff, I've had employees wrecking cars on my channel and I've had screwed up fenders and you name it. So much stuff on here. But at the same time, I do sell cars and enjoy the cars. Get behind some people going like 30 and a 45. Oh, 40 here. So, beautiful day. I do enjoy this back way, getting back to my other place. It's all the same town, actually. Right where I started this video was about 5, 10 seconds from my gate. So point of this video is kind of an update and such to say, hey, I'm having to move that main big lot that I have there. If there's anything that you want, super duper duper specials, I, I'm selling stuff just so cheap it's pitiful. Not even less than the parts are worth, seriously. Um, so if there's anything that you've had your eye on and said, hey, why does that idiot still have that? Well, it's because I have a lot of other businesses to run and it's, it's a busy life put it that way. Uh, definitely add me on Facebook, www.facebook.com, and you do a little forward slash thing, whichever way it is. Nathan Radislaw, N-A-T-H-A-N-W-R-A-T-I-S-L-A-W. Hope you can hear me in this McBurney. Sweet McBurney. trying to get home because I think I've got a tail light out and about five minutes from being there is about almost seven minutes from being pretty dark so trying to beat that I wish I could lay into this thing going around the corner here and around this little stop sign in fact I'll be completely honest this is one of the funnest stop signs in the whole wide world just because of how it's such an angle. 
back at it. It's not a true angle where you're just going right. I'm going because, let's see, you gotta come back at it. Oh man, can you whip? I mean, can you keep straight and, just, oh, it's just awesomely safe and nice. So, I've lived here my whole life, and I'll tell you what, if I'd have had this car when I was a kid, I'd probably have been hauled away today. That's all there is to say about it. But, I figured I'm doing some work, and I may as well have the birthday work all lined up. And I definitely got plenty of that. If you're close enough to San Diego and you want to come work for a week, heck, let's make a deal. Come work for a week. That's that. Thanks for watching. And I'm not saying come work for a week for free. Nothing like that. I'm saying come work for a week. I'll pay you. Let's do this. I am going to be hiring pretty soon. My idol is just a little bit too high. But I'll tell you what, the car drives so nice. It's just pathetic. I would like to keep this rolling just to throw on an ending. But then it gets too long. That's what she said. Well, what else could we talk about on a live stream that's not a live stream? Oh, I put a special on uh, my page, shared it yesterday on Facebook and on Livewire Energy. You can go to the website, livewireenergy.com, until Thanksgiving, and you can get 50% off. 50 half off anything you order. Um, they don't ship out of the country, but anywhere else. Um, and you can get 50% off. Pretty cool. And I will have just a lot of these cars coming up. I'll tell you, I'm just sitting here thinking. I got a Lexus. I was walking past it. I don't like them. Okay? It's got some little problem with it. And my problem with the cars, and the reason why a lot of the stuff hasn't moved, is sometimes... I'll take a deposit on something. Somebody will talk me into taking a couple hundred bucks. Hey, can you hold this? Sure, no problem. I can hold this. And the next thing you know, I can't get a hold of them for two, three weeks. Well, about the time I'm ready to list it and do something, they want to give me a hundred bucks. And it may be different amounts and different cars and different things, but that's pretty much how. Look at 10% of what I got left, 15%. That's how it went. Um, there's a couple where the people paid it off. It was a cheap car. They gave me like 800 bucks. Now I've sat on it for two years. So that's all lean sailing and going out the road and I, I just gotta get rid of that stuff. Um, I, can't, I can't even get a hold of some of them. One of the guys is dead. So that's a problem. Um, let's say a good 25% to 30% of what I have right now that I'm gonna be getting rid of it's something that was a good car. Let's say it ran through the auction. I tried it out before. Everything seemed good. And once I got it back, I had some kind of issue. Now, this may mean um, somebody put some stop slip in the tranny or some head gasket fixer in the water. And next thing you know, when I got home, I had a head gasket problem. Um, one that I think of like that is a 98 Eldorado. It's got low miles. It's like one or two owner. Nice car. Beautiful pearl white. Head gasket. Of course, it's a North Star. We knew this would be an issue. Actually, on that one, it didn't say it was an issue, and it actually wasn't an issue at the auction, but I knew it would be, so I kind of bid accordingly. That car's cheap, and also it's so cheap it's pitiful. Um, you have to hit me up. I don't know. Um, I got a Nissan Sentra here at the yard. It's a wagon. It was a cool little car. I could have buffed it out and just got rid of it. You know, it's still cheap. I'm not trying to get a king's ransom out of this crap. But I got it back. Head gasket. That one, total on the auction. Total this, that, and the other. Whatever. I don't... It's, it's, it's happened. It's done. It's two years ago now almost. However, I still have the shell of a piece of a junk of a car. Taco Bell's gone. Just when I figured out that I like their shredded chicken, and I'm not saying it's healthy, 
Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Shredded chicken burritos there are pretty damn good. Just when I figured out I liked them, they tore the Taco Bell down. They're rebuilding, so I don't know. A couple days or so, it'll be all built. Restaurants. I had one. I enjoyed them. I grew up doing food service. These poor people here, man, they've opened this thing and ain't nobody ever goes there. Ever. Like, maybe there's somebody in there every once in a while. Kind of amazing. It's that. Okay. Back here at the lot. And I didn't shut this off just to where I can kind of show you something of what's going on here. Listen to that idol. Entirely too high. Still. My mom asked me if I wanted a cake and ice cream for my birthday. I said, I don't know. Whatever works. Look at this. It's my work card. You gotta work in what you gotta work in, right? See there? I just tore the side pieces off that. And it is not a quick process. Um, parting out cars is something that is a very, very, very pain in the butt process. I was gonna actually list the um, little silica I got over there tonight. Uh, it's got a, it needs a carb rebuild. And since it needs a carb rebuild, it's hard to sell in California without smogging it. So, it makes it kind of a non-California car that I'm selling from California. So that's kind of an issue, but it's a nice car. That Olds is sweet. If you want to deal on that Olds, let me know. The Suburban, okay, I'm gonna do a light walk around here because it's just what I need to do. What do you think, Breeder? Would you like to get out? Come on. She hides in the back because it's so loud. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. It's a good dog. Tinybeagles.com. If you check out the blog on there, it shows you what I did on there for asking you to share on my birthday. Brooklyn? Eh, I'll sell it. Starfire? Eh, I'll sell it. Triumph? TR7? Um, needs a complete restoration. It's straight. It's a nice car, though. Um, ran and drove and everything. It's just sit here for a while. Good little car. Straight as can be really is a straight little car and will buff out pretty decently it's not rusty or nothing um, get this thing out of here I can't sell it in state unless I sell it with a junk salvage crap title out of state clear title and everything um, this car we need 575 bucks this car I'm not really selling it um, the 380 here I don't remember what exactly it needs or this I think it was a distributor um, very clean car. Doesn't have a whole lot of miles. Um, 150. I'll take 650 bucks. Um, this thing is clean as can be. It actually has just set out here. And so it needs to be cleaned up up and such. Um, it's got a bad tranny. It's super clean on the inside. Does not have a lot of miles. Uh, digital on this here. But look at the interior as clean as can be. I'll sell it cheap. I'd have to look this one up. Um, this one is a great running car. Uh, I just had a tranny replaced. Um, I'm going to do a review on this one this week, I believe. Uh, maybe next week. Cheap. This thing, great little car. Sold it to the guy. Got a part of the money. Big mess. Nice car. Clean as can be. Check out the review, full review on here. I'll try and put a link. Um, get this car out of my life. Just get it out of my life. It's a good car. I like to take and tear it apart and put a 500 motor in it. But really clean, one owner CE. Um, lots of maintenance done and stuff. Um, this car, just get it out of here. Just go. Get it gone. Just get it gone. 1150 bucks. The Cadillac North Star, it's a great car. It has not got a head gasket problem. Um, it has a sensor 
that tells the car it's overheating when it's not. I sold it to a guy, I gave him his money back. It told him it was overheated. I was like, no way. I took it for a ride to the casino. Yeah, way. 15 minutes or so, it tells you that it's overheated. Got out, checked everything out. Was not overheated. Uh, was not even warm. Oh, that fell down. My struts are a little hard to open on this one. So, that's this. Get it out of my life. Um, 1850 bucks. Nice car. Just full review on my channel. This, Samantha said she had sold. I don't know. Um, full review on my channel. Um, if she doesn't have it sold, 2350 bucks. Um, the Cav Cavalier. The Cadillac Cimarron. Cheap. Nice car. Clean car. Is what it is. Um, these are little runners. Interior is just nice as can be. A little pair there. Um, this one, give me 950 bucks, get it out of my life. That one, very nice Seville, runs good. You're going to replace something on something like this, it's sat for a while. I drain the gas and everything, interior is just nice as it gets. I got to do a review of this one. Checking on the hood, needs a complete paint job I would say, that's what I would do. But the sides look good, it's shiny as can be. 76 or 77. The top's a little split up there. Um, get this thing out of here before I list it or do anything to it. Um, 2350 bucks. Nice car. This thing is on my channel. Full review. Check it out. One owner, I believe. It's a, it's a Brome Royale. My weed eater and stuff in it, but as you can see, clean as can be. And I'm, I'm pretty confident it just fire right off. Right off means right off here, don't it? It's a very nice car. I think even, yeah, under the dash, it's just nice as it gets. Crazy, crazy. This guy kept this one sweet. It's gonna make a very nice car for somebody. Look at these door panels. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's on my site for more. I take like 2,650 bucks. You guys squirt it at some point. But that's that. That's the center I was telling you about. What a junker it is now. I mean, you know, really, it's only got 65,000 original miles. Um, it's a clean little car on the inside. It actually would take a decent buff. It has 78,000 miles. And I. The interior is a little rough. It was a kind of a a mistake buy. A mistake buy? What does that mean? Well, it means we bought it over the internet and didn't do our due diligence good enough. And took somebody, a buyer at the auction, took his opinion of how it was. Now this is what I've been doing, like I say, if you look in the back seat, there's a junk load of parts. Now, I made a video of taking this all apart. Um, it's a rather long video. I believe by the time I put it together, it's going to be about three, four hours. Just for the heck of it, right? So, look at the dash. I got this thing tore apart, buddy. It would have been a nice car. Do you need a seat? Actually, these aren't even good for seats. I got that out. But between the mirror and everything, the trunk is full of parts now, buddy. This stuff is flying out of here. Now I'm going to get this here battery charger out of my trunk and get life moving. Um, the Suburban. Nice rig. Check it out on my site. Um, there's a full review and a video and everything. If you check that one out, I just want it gone. I take 950 bucks. 950 bucks. I'm going to do this when I don't have breeder. Nothing against you, girl. This one, I got to sell my personal one. I want it gone. Give me a call. That's been raining, it's not leaking. The SLC, I'll sell cheap. Um, Euro bumpered and everything, yeah, buddy. Um, I don't know, it's clean inside. Some front seats are gonna need redone, but very, very, 
very clean car. This stuff doesn't seem to hold up like the MB Tech does. That's for sure. But nice little car. Backseat's clean as can be. I don't want to start yanking bumpers and motors and heck, all that. I'll take 1350 bucks for it. Just want it gone. Um, this, one owner or two owner, I got all kinds of records for it. 120, needs a regulator on the window and it's got old fuel in it and stuff. Um, very clean. Check this out, hard top and soft top. Hope you can see that, nice clean car. Nice tight doors. Um, this one, get it out of here. I don't know, 2800 bucks. Um, the Seville slant, it's got a bad reverse. Um, it actually goes really good and forward. Other than that, clean car. Um, the back thing's rotted out like every damn one of them. But these seats, very, very nice, very clean car. Probably kind of dark so you can't see it. All the books and everything are in here. Cool stuff. Get this thing out of here. I don't know. The original, jeez. Like them old caps. What do you think about that one? Cheap, cheap. I don't know. 850 bucks. The Aurora, very low miles, like 50,000. I don't know, check the full review. It's faded, it's been faded. It'll clean up a little bit from where it is. But this one's a nice car, it's all leathered out. Um, I just, it makes me sick. But this car, give me, um, let's get it out of here. Give me 2,650 bucks. Full review on my channel, this gold 300E, full review on my channel, check that out. Um, it's a good little car. I'll take, um, oh goodness, let me think on that one. Let's put you down real quick. The wagon, I haven't done a video of yet. Um, get out of my life. It's an 88 Buick wagon, Woody. Um, I don't know, 950 bucks. The 300E, this is a nice one. This one give me um, 1850 bucks. I just want it gone. This one here, it's very nice. It is nicer than the other one. It does have real leather and stuff. Um, I took a deposit of 500 for a guy in Netherlands. And then we waited out the car band and ended up he couldn't export it. So I took it back and now I've just sat on it. I drove it a little bit, drives nice. Um, that's that, that one there, I don't know. Give me um, 2850 bucks. This is a nice car. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Um, there is a Buick Century over here. GTA, 25,000 original miles. Um, if you're interested in one, as straight as can be, it's got patina and stuff on top, as you can tell. Straight as can be. Um, I don't know. I take 6,500 bucks. And on that one, the 450 next to it, nice 450 if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're interested in this, I'll sell it, I'd have to do a little looking. The Sentry here, she might have this sold. I had a guy talking to me and turned him on to Samantha there to get him sealed up. Very, very clean inside. I believe it's 81,000 original miles. I'd sell the Starfire. If you're interested in it, let me know. And I'd sell the Brickland too. Just know that it's not cheap, cheap, cheap. It's cheap, but it's not cheap. 220S, nice car. Okay, done deal. That's what's here. More at the other one I've been kind of working on getting out of there. There's a 250 or 280 coupe and a uh, 250 limo Mercedes and the W123 models over there. I'll show them later. Thanks for watching. We've got all the trash all stinking under there. Gotta get this stuff. I gotta get a U-Haul just to get that stuff out of here. See, I recycle. And then everything comes and tears it up. Jeez. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. We'll talk to you.